This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. There are many tools to use in AutoCAD 2010, but before we can use them, we must know where they are or how to get to them. So at first, you're going to need to hunt for all these tools that you want to use. But don't worry, in no time, you're going to learn where everything is. In fact, your muscles will remember exactly where they need to move the mouse in order to get your commands. The main form of input in AutoCAD is the mouse. A typical mouse has three buttons, including the scroll wheel. Though many users do take advantage of a five button mouse and recommend it. It's up to you, but all you need is the standard three button mouse with the two buttons and the scroll wheel. Each button has a specific function. Button one, or the left click button, is your main form of input. You click this button to select objects, as I'm doing here. The right click button can be set to several different functions. Out of the box, a right click will bring up a shortcut window, like this. This is very handy. Many users prefer to have the right click function though as the enter key. This is my preference, but either way it will work. I'll show you how to make this change. So to customize the right click functions of your mouse, you will need to open the options window. To do this, open the options window by moving the crosshairs to the application menu, the big red A at the top left of the screen. Click it and select the options button near the bottom. You need to activate the user preferences tab by clicking on it. Click the right click customization button near the top left of the screen. Right now, when you right click on your mouse, as I showed you earlier, a shortcut menu will open up. There are several advantages to having this available. It will put several different commands near your mouse, making it very easy to get to them. Many users will have their right click act like the enter key. When you press the space bar or the enter key, it will execute the command you just used. It will also act like an enter key does when you're typing text. Fortunately, you can have both options, the right click shortcut menu and the right click as an enter key or to repeat the last command. To do this, check on the time sensitive right click option towards the top. See the box, select it. It should have a check on it. When you do this, you can use the right click key like the enter key and have your shortcuts too, sort of like having your cake and eating it too. So instead of clicking, you will click and hold the right button, wait for 250 milliseconds, trust me it's really not that long, then the shortcut menus will come up. It just takes a fraction of a second to do this. Just close all these windows when you're done changing your settings. As you see, moving the mouse moves your crosshairs in the drawing. Using the scroll wheel will move the drawing area through the pan function. To see the little hand come up when you press and hold the scroll wheel, you can pan your drawing. Rolling the scroll wheel back and forth will zoom in or zoom out. You aren't shrinking or enlarging your drawing. You're not moving where this car is at. You're just zooming in and out and looking at it from a different angle. It's a very handy tool to have right there. There was a time in AutoCAD when you couldn't zoom in real time like this. You weren't exactly sure where you were going. Oh, it was terrible. But clicking and holding the scroll wheel will start the pan command. Using these two functions of the scroll and the pan will allow you to maneuver inside your drawing everywhere you need to go. There's one more thing that you can do with the scroll wheel. If you double click the scroll wheel, you will perform what is called a zoom extents. This will zoom your drawing all the way out so that you can see everything that is in your drawing. It's very useful. Your crosshairs are another important tool. They are your target. Where your mouse goes, the crosshairs go. Where your crosshairs are is where your new lines, text, and other objects will be placed in your drawing. I prefer to have my crosshairs fill the screen, but you don't have to. But you can set this up if you want. I like to do that because they work as guidelines for me when I draw. So to change this, you can go to your options window again, just like we did for the mouse controls. Go to the application menu and click it, then click on the options button. Once in the options window, you will need to activate the display tab. The crosshair setting is near the right. As you can see with this pop-up tool, it describes to you what the settings mean. The setting is a percentage of the screen for the size of your crosshairs. Out of the box, it's set at 5. I prefer it at 100%. 
This will make your crosshairs extend the full height and width of your screen. When you are done with your settings, hit the OK. Now you will see my crosshairs fill my drawing area and my pick box is still the same size. So your crosshairs consist of three major items. Your vertical line, which is up and down, your horizontal line, which is left to right, and the pick box. These three items are there for visual reference. The two lines are perfectly straight and they intersect at the middle of the pick box. This point of intersection is the point where you will select objects or insert new objects. When you move your crosshairs off of the drawing area, the drawing area is where you draw your objects, this big black box. And by the way, if you don't like this color, it can be changed just like everything in AutoCAD. Anyway, the main drawing area in AutoCAD is this large black field. This is where your drawing objects will go. There are two main spaces that you will draw in, model space and paper space. Model space is where your drawing objects go, and paper space is where your annotation and sheet objects go, like a title block or some notes. We'll cover those two spaces in greater detail in another section. When you move your crosshairs by moving the mouse, and you move them off of the drawing area onto, say, the ribbon area or one of these bars, the crosshairs disappear and it was replaced by an arrow. One other area that I want to mention before we go is the information center or the info center. This is where you can go to for help. This is this top bar up on the right. Clicking on the question mark will open up your help menu options. Type in some words here to do a quick search. It will bring up many different items that you can choose from that you can read about and tell you how to further use some of the objects. If you don't want this open, close it off.